It's time to work, Adam. Wake what up. What are we doing here? Wake up, Adam. It's well, time to work. Sal's got me doing. You can start surfing. Maybe he's got me doing. No, no, he's got me doing the handcuff with rotation on the bench, which is uh, it's actually uh, handcuff with rotation. This is. Can we make this more gnarly? This is yeah, one right? of the best shoulder mobility movements um, I've this done. This is with the best prime. This is one, all movement. This is a go-to primer for me when before I do any upper body exercise. So before you do a press or a row or press? Before I do a bench press, before I do a deadlift, before I do any upper body, any upper body movements, this is my go-to primer for sure that I always do. And I've seen huge improvements. And this was a, a gift from uh, Dr. Brink, yes. um, he was the first one to ever really show this to me. And what I love about it, of course, we're trying to wake up all those muscles uh, in your back that have gone to sleep, uh, because rarely ever are we uh, being, utilizing this, right? We're never in this, no, you're <laughs> this, never this, in this, this position. It's like internal rotation of the humerus, then you've got the hands behind the back, you're trying to you know, get a little retraction here. This is a difficult position to get. His hands are not touching his back here, that's the full expression of the end of the movement. Um, but how do we start? What, so we, this is the starting position. Right. The starting position, and, and what I wanna do is I'm trying to take my hands and I'm trying to drive them up as close to the back of my neck as I can while keeping them off my back and squeezing my shoulder blades together, mm -hmm. all at the same time. So it's, this is a tension movement. I wanna create as much tension as possible. So it's not like kind of squeezing it. I'm squeezing as hard as I possibly now, can. Now, word of warning, when you first do this, you may uh, cramp up. You're going to cramp up, so go, go easy. Go through the cramp. Go easy. Go uh, through the cramp. But go easy and be careful because if you don't have the shoulder mobility like Adam does, um, this is this can be a pretty vulnerable position. So start yeah, it, slow. It, it, get it used can to it be then. vulnerable, but we, you are you are doing you're not doing this passively, right? No, no, so no, no. no, no. The, the, this is also not something you're trying to rush through. Exactly. It's a Every very little incremental piece to this exercise needs to be focused on. So yes. what he's doing, it has intent all the way through. So when he brings his hand behind his back, he's now pulling them in up as high as he can, and then he's gonna go to extend his arms back behind, and then he's slowly, slowly, see, notice now how he's tight starting to he is still? He's starting to rotate mm -hmm. right when it feels natural to rotate. And, and then you go all the way into all supination. All supinated position, his hands are facing up. Now, now gonna bring him back. It back behind his head. Touching his upper back. He's gonna come out and he's gonna bring it right back into that handcuff position. Rotate the hands, one on top of the other, bring them up as high as you can. Stay nice and tight and come out. And if you can't see this on video, Adam is shaking oh, yeah, yeah. like a pooping dog. And that's a, <laughs> well, I, I'll only, I'll do Indeed. one rep, I'll rest, I'll do another rep, I'll rest. I'll do that about five <laughs> times. Uh, and you'll know, that was the very first time I did that, so it was. Well, a bench is so great because uh, the floor, actually, that's something that a lot of people will get low at a certain point because of fatigue. And then if you see if the floor is that close, a lot of times people will kind of use the floor to kind of right. rest their way through. It's harder on the this bench. This is just like, it, it cuts all that out. There's and, no and, way to cheat. And there's lots of positions where uh, you will notice that are, everyone's going to be different as far as where it's really challenging. Exactly. Like, so as I came forward, it's really tough for me, especially on the left side, to get that full rotation in. So like, I, and I'm challenging that. So instead of just like going and stopping there, mm -hmm. You're I'm trying, to, I'm your trying, trying to twist even more. I'm trying to take my pinkies, I'm trying to turn them up while they're over my head as, as hard as I can and extend my shoulders out as far as I can and then reach back as far as I can. So you're trying to take it to all those end ranges of motion intrinsically. You're trying to do this yourself and you're just reconnecting to all these muscles that are so important to pulling that. Well, that why is this, this highlights why tension is so important. It, it helps to allow your body to recognize that you're supported. So when your joints are supported, you're gonna produce a lot better movement. Oh, and have a you, lot more strength. I tell you what, this is like, before you go, so those, those of you that are watching this that are getting ready to go into a heavy bench press today or whatever, go do this move five to 10 times first and really focus on the tension and squeezing the shoulder blades, really exaggerate the rotation when you come around. Do that five to 10 times, then go into your bench press, watch the difference.